There's a push to save the General Electric plant in Fort Edward with nearly 200 jobs on the line. Today, members of the plant's union met with community leaders to fill them in on the plan to keep the company in New York. As Pat Bailey reports, the big question is, can anything really be done to save the jobs and that local economy? The outcome I would like to see is the General Electric stay right in Fort Edward. That may be a lofty goal, but union officials who represent the 177 workers currently on pins and needles, worried about their job, say they are fighting for them. Is the union willing to do what it takes to keep the jobs? That's right. That's right. We want to do whatever it is, which is fair. I mean, we need to survive also. We need to, it's got to be a fair uh, amount of money. Union reps say per their contract with GE, they have 60 days to negotiate and try to convince the company to stay. That's why they met with community leaders to seek input. First of all, the people may work in Fort Edward, but they live throughout Warren and Washington County. Uh, you have a number of vendors, uh, local suppliers, that uh, will be uh, losing uh, a substantial amount of their income as they provide the various equipment pieces and repairs to the uh, shop in the area. So it's a pretty uh, devastating impact on our region. GE officials made it clear in a letter to the media and to their union workers they have plans to move the plant to Clearwater, Florida within one year. In a statement to CBS 6 News, a GE official says this particular plant continues to be non-competitive in the core product offerings, and that has led to a decline in volume over the last few years. They go on to say their competitors are making the same products with less overhead and with cheaper labor. That means there's now pressure on the union to convince the company there's a financial benefit for them to stay. Is it realistic to think the outcome will benefit every worker over there? Uh, it should be. Because, I mean, we, we were a, a workforce of 2,500 people. We were doing the job a lot of them used to do. Now he's doing it, uh, 177. So, you know, we, doing, we, we already reduced our workforce until that level. So it should be a lot of room for negotiations. Time is ticking as the one-year notice to relocate took effect Wednesday, as did the 60-day negotiating period. In Fort Edward, Pat Bailey, CBS 6 News. Tonight at 6.30, Pat will take a look at the ripple effect if GE moves and how not just Fort Edward would feel the pinch.